Good morning, everyone. This is the Craig, and I put on my most authoritative pajamas so that you'll take me seriously when I teach you how to export vector objects from Anime Studio Pro 11. Now, this is a feature I think should be included in the package, but I don't have a lot of pull with Smith Micro, so I'm just going to have to wait. Until that time, here's the workaround. I've created a little animation of one of my favorite characters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one frame and I'm going to export it as an animation. I'm going to choose Flash SWF, highest quality, can't change it anyway. And I'm going to export one frame. Now I'm going to use Flash as my pipeline from Anime Studio to Illustrator. So I start up Flash Professional CC open up an HTML5 canvas and then just to make my life easier I'm going to change the document size to the same as my Anime Studio document. File, import, to stage. And I find where I save it. Bring in the SWF and there he is. Now something weird's happened to the eye but I think I can live with it. Then I export it as an image, right? And what I'm going to export it as is an SVG. Rick SVG. Last but not least, I open up Illustrator, File, Open, Rick SVG, and there he is. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, do me a couple of favors. First of all, go to Facebook and join the group Anime Studio Pros. It's run by McCoy Buck, lots of knowledgeable people, lots of professionals. You can really learn a lot. Also, if you haven't caught Rick and Morty yet, shame on you. Get out there and watch it right away. I'll be back again with another tutorial in the near future. Until then, here's my catchphrase. Wubba lubba dub dub. I say that. I, I was the one who made that up, actually. Take it easy. And that's the way the news goes. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs>